I had a shower. We worked out this morning again. We're on schedule, we're doing it every day. And my knees and my thighs really hurt right now. Like a lot. Like to bend a little bit, to sit on the toilet, to get out of bed. It hurts. It hurts. Welcome to working out, Jess. <laughs> I know, it's not fun. Anyway, so today we're doing a follow-up of a main channel video. I feel like that's what we mostly do on this channel, but that's okay, it's fun. So, on my main channel, I talked about how you should never call your own number because if you do, your doppelganger will answer. And it's pretty scary because as long as you talk to them on the phone, they can track your location. And it reminds me of the movie Us or the movie It Follows because no matter where you go, the creepy thing follows you. That's basically our lives though with you, right? Well, I follow you. No, I follow you around. Oh. <laughs> follow each other, B. So, we're gonna each try and call our own number to see if we can get in contact with our doppelganger. But first, this reminded me, the past like two weeks or so, I've been getting this phone call from this unknown number and they call me like three times a day. And usually when I get like an unknown call, I don't answer because I don't want to speak to strangers. If it's really important, they'll leave a voicemail. So I've been ignoring the call, okay? Well, about four days ago, I was editing and got that same call again, and I was finally like, you know what? I had enough. I'm gonna answer. So I answered, and I was like, hello? And there was silence for like, I don't know, 15 seconds. Like this long silence. And then I was like, hello? And you could hear like someone breathing and like rustling around, like someone was there for sure. So I was like, hello? And then this little voice, not like a little kid, but it just like this little female voice was like, hello? It sounded like a doll or something. It was weird. And I was like, hello? And the thing was like, hello? Hello? Like literally repeating what I said, almost like it was mocking me, but it sounded like a literal China doll was like calling me. It was so weird. Like a little like porcelain like doll was talking to me on the phone. It was really weird. And then they just hung up and they keep calling me every day. They're trying to learn more words, Jess. I don't know, every time I answer, it's like, It's so creepy. Because they're learning more words. Soon they're gonna be able to have a conversation, Jess, and like take over your position or whatever. They're yeah. slowly becoming you. But it wasn't my own number calling me. I know, but it could be just some form of mimic of some kind. Or my doppelganger is getting smart and they're using a different number to call me. Maybe. Maybe that's the case. That could be. Know. Anyways, though, I think you should go first. I should go first? I think you should go first since I've been talking the first but half of the video. I've been on the phone like every day for the past few days just calling people over and over and over again. I feel like a jerk in all honesty. Well, you're calling for house stuff. I'm calling for house stuff, but like there's a lot of things that we're supposed to be getting. The couch. Is not here yet. Is not here yet. And when we bought it, we were promised that would be four to five weeks. So the Saturday is gonna be the fourth week, so I was calling just to say, hey, I wanna make sure we can schedule a good day. Okay, we'll check for an update. Never called me back. So I called a few days later, which is today. I said, hey, when I was dealing with the salesperson, they said four to five weeks. Oh, ho, ho, ho. that guy. So something tells me we're not getting it for probably another month. Yeah, we're just gonna have this area with no couch for the rest of the year. Well, it gives more room <laughs> for Winnie and I to dance. Yeah, more dancing space more for you guys. Space. But Ty has also been getting some weird unknown calls. And when he answers it, it's one of those calls that are like, you need to go to jail. Or like one of those, <laughs> what is your social insurance number? No, it's saying that my social insurance number is suspended and that police have been informed or whatever. It's the threatening scams that, like in Canada, we get them all the time. Yeah. Because I don't think you can have your social insurance number suspended. And also, if it was the agency that they claim to be, they don't call you. They email you or they will send mail directly to your property. And, letting and you know what's the going same on. thing if you ever get like a call from your bank and they're asking for info, hang up if you're unsure if it's your bank and then call your bank back yeah. and ask if it was them. 
it's just unsafe to give like personal info over the phone when you're not expecting it. So don't do that. Mm -hmm. Don't fall into scams. Anyways. So Ty's gonna call his doppelganger. I'm gonna call myself, which funny enough, I have myself as a contact on my own phone. Do you really? Yeah, do. So basically you have your doppelganger as your contact. See, look, it says me. It's you. It's me. We can't show you the number, obviously. <laughs> we cannot. Please enter your password. What? what? Is it my voicemail? Please enter your password. I think you called your voicemail. Maybe try oh, the- I called my number. I called my number. Please enter your password. Your doppelganger has a password. <laughs> Okay, because here's the thing. I just called myself, but there's a voicemail contact. I press that. See, it's voicemail. Yeah. Your password. Maybe like... Maybe that's just something set up on my phone. Call it on the dial pad. Maybe the doppelganger's just trying to get my voicemail password. <laughs> okay, I will dial it normally. Your doppelganger is hard to reach. <laughs> really far away from myself. If it rings, I'm screaming. <laughs> okay, so it doesn't work for you. But it's weird because whenever I get a voicemail, it will tell me, you know, dial this number to access your voicemail. I do, I get my voicemail. I never knew that if I called my own number, I would just get my voicemail. In all honesty, I have done this before. This was like years back, just out of curiosity. I would just get the busy tone because the line was being used to call my Oh, own number, line. yeah. So, it's your turn. I guess your doppelganger is just hard to reach. Maybe, I do have trouble answering my phone most of the time. All right, so we're gonna call my own number. I'm kind of scared. What is my number? Oh. Are you ready for this? Fortunately, we cannot complete your call and dial. Please check the number and try your call again. Unfortunately, we cannot complete your call and dial. Please check the number. I know the number, it's my doppelganger. Well, we'll try one more time. Oh, I didn't finish, I... <laughs> I left one letter out, or number. A then, letter? Your phone number's letters? I left one number out. Okay, let's try this again. That was just a test, okay. Okay, this is the real one. Welcome to Rogers voicemail. <laughs> it's voicemail! <laughs> For a second there was like some noise, like yeah. shuffling, and I was like... <laughs> It's probably your own breathing echoing through. <laughs> okay, so both our phones go to voicemail, so I feel like maybe a lot of phones do that then. I guess it's a new thing, instead of memorizing a voicemail number. Or maybe it's always been a thing. We're from different providers, so I don't yeah. know. Yeah. Anyways, guys, if any of you guys have tried this, comment down below and let me know what happened. Did it go to your voicemail? Did it ring? Did it have a busy tone? Let us know what it did, I'm really curious. Do you know how we can step this up? What? You call my number and then I call your number. It doesn't work like that. <laughs> You'll just answer. <laughs> so. Winnie looks very sad right now. She always looks a little sad. She really wanted this challenge to work. Did she? Yeah. You sure? You sure Winnie wanted for your doppelganger to come and just take over your life? Maybe. Imagine another Winnie. That would be epic. I don't know. She's a lot to deal with already. She's I love her to death. She's barely anything to deal with. But sometimes she's very hyper. She's a sleepy sausage. Our sleepy sausage. We could have two. Oh, by the way, Winnie's birthday is on Friday. So that is the 19th? What is Friday? What day is it today? What day is it today? I believe it's the 19th. Yes. 19th is Winnie's birthday. So we're going over to my parents' house to celebrate with her and it's gonna be so cute. So we're gonna definitely record that and then that should be up this weekend. She's gonna be four years old. She's so old already. It's middle age for most bulldogs. It is middle age because the average bulldog age is eight years old and she is four, so. Anyways though, hope you guys enjoyed this video testing out <laughs> calling our doppelganger, which I kind of wish worked, but anyway, comment down below what happened to you and have a good rest of your day and we'll see you in our next vlog. Bye. See you guys.